uh, we um, we built off of each other in training, and I know I just gotta execute here. I wanted to close fast, like that's one thing that I always struggled with in college, and I could never really put it together at NCAA level. I'm talking about second field, and uh, we really, really start working on those closing speeds, very specific workouts, which I haven't done before. Uh, I'm focusing on that specific speed in the last 800, 600, 400, and I'm really happy that we could put it together, and, and I was able to get away with the win. But like I said again, a great deal of respect for everybody, for uh, Nico Young and everybody else in the field. Like they are spectacular athletes, and for me even to get away where the win was so close and it was so tough, it wasn't easy, not for a minute. So, uh, tell me a little bit about those workouts. You don't have to, you know, give me the entire rundown. But... Hello. But, I mean, <laughs> you don't have to give me the entire rundown, but you know, how, how do you work on speed, uh, that closing speed in those workouts? Well, um, I was always very good in my strength, my aerobic base, and I always, that's always the first point for me to focus on my aerobic ability. But then we did very specific workouts, let's say sets of uh, 800, and then we really just like work each 200. Uh, but when you are really tired, not in the beginning of the workout, but when you're really tired, you're trying to push those spaces. And I'm always the one trying to push and get antsy every time, because I know in a race like this, there's so many good athletes. Like look at Nico Young, he just ran 257 and 7,000 feet elevation, which blow my mind in the week. And I was like, shit, I still have to come here and put a, together a really good race. So I was just focusing on my goal and what I've been training for after the first chance, and I knew I was a pretty good shape. Everyone's so good now. It almost oh, comes down to the kick, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, yeah. Obviously, you know Nagus has a crazy kick. Yeah. How were you able to kind of put that aside, um, you know, mentally coming into this race? I mean, granted, you were in a different race, but, right. you know, going into the week, you didn't know what heat you were going to be. You yeah. didn't know who you were going to be racing with. How did you kind of approach practice? Well, I, I focused on guys like like uh, Nagus, uh, Nagus and the own guys, and obviously uh, Abdineur and Buri Kekade and as well uh, uh, Nico Young. I focus on those specific group of people that I know that always been really good kicks. And I, I know my role, aerobic ability is up par with everybody in the field. The only thing for me was always working in the closing speed. And that's, like I said, for the past few weeks, I really put a lot of emphasis on getting that right. And uh, we did a really good, a few great sessions in uh, Phoenix. And that really, I, I was already at that point close and I was talk, talking and I was running race pace pretty comfortably and I was able to really close towards my, the end of the, my workouts and put in like, 56ers and uh, 57s like regularly in towards the end of my workout. So yeah, that's pretty good. So it's obviously just the beginning of the year, but it, it's a long year ahead. Yeah. Obviously the Olympic year. Um, how do you approach the next few months trying to keep your legs as crisp and fast as possible while still running these crazy fast times? Yeah, and that's the thing that Coach and I, uh, Coach Jack Maloney, uh, we sat down and we really discussed what I want to do. My big focus is Olympics. So everything in between is just uh, getting ready for that. And, uh, and so we were we were deciding and we were talking that well I'm not gonna race a lot so each race that I come in I try to be as ready as possible get fast times so I'm not racing until the 10 after this and it's very uh, intentional we're trying to get very specific races I don't have a lot of races in my calendar so every time that I get to compete I'm, I'm really making sure that I don't need a run faster run, run but getting it right off and so just building from there towards the Olympics and maybe get a diamond later too towards the end yeah well we look forward to seeing what you do over the span of yeah. 2024 Congratulations. Yeah, well, thank, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.